Good evening, this is Patricia Barnett and welcome to week six, Social Psychology of Groups and module six, Integrative Framework of Group Performance. I will use the next few minutes to discuss the idea or explain the idea of groups as a multi-level system. I will also describe a theoretical framework of performance and I will conclude this presentation with what co-action and audience effects mean and how they relate to group performance and I will provide an example for each. Let's begin with groups as a multi-level system. What that means is the group and the members itself are distinct entities. It also means that members are a part of the group and the group is a part of the environment. When it comes to the group and the group members, there is a hierarchy where the members are at the lower level and the group of the group and the group itself is at the higher level. There are relations, however, between the group and the members. Both group and members have different characteristics. Now, the characteristics of the group members may include extroversion, intelligence, personality, their knowledge, and the characteristics of the group may be or could include the size of the group, the norms of the group, the goals, the rules, the permeability of the group, and so on. Within the group, there is a top-down effect and a bottom-up effect. Let's take a look at the top-down. This refers to when the characteristics at the group level affect the members' behaviors, thoughts, and attitudes. A good example of this would be the group norms, the group rules, the culture of the group. How do those impact the members at the lower level? The bottom-up effect refers to when members, behaviors rather, behaviors or characteristics of the group members affect the group performance or outputs. A good example of this would be a payroll team. I have a payroll team of approximately 15 professionals who are skilled in different aspects of payroll processing, but when they work together, they deliver an accurate and timely paycheck. So the bottom-up effect refers to the behaviors or characteristics of the group members and how that affects the group performance or outputs. The payroll team, they come together, they understand the bigger picture, and they work together to achieve it. Let's take a look at the theoretical framework of performance. The theoretical framework for group performance consists of five elements. The group members, the group task, the group interaction processes, the group output, and the group context. Let's begin by taking a look at the group members. The group members bring their knowledge, they bring their skills, their abilities, their motives, emotions, their personalities, and they provide the necessary resources through those skills and abilities to complete the group task. It's also important to note when talking about the group members that their time and their effort are also valuable for group performance. Let's take a look at the second element of the theoretical framework for group performance, and that is the group task. In order for the task to be completed and completed successfully, having the right resources is necessary. A critical understanding of what the task is will determine what resources are required of the members. So in thinking of the group task, some questions what one might ask could be, does the task require specialized knowledge? If we're talking about, let's talk, uh, we use the example of the payroll professionals. Are we talking about, are there certain skills that are necessary to get this task completed? Another question one might ask is, does the task require physical strength? And if it does, does the team members have the physical strength necessary to get this task completed. In researching group task, it, it, it says the potential performance of a group is determined by the resources of the members and the requirement of the task itself. Potential performance will be low if the members do not have the resources 
and it will be high if the resources are present. In discussing group task, there are four types. There's additive task, disjunctive task, conjunctive task, and discretionary task. Let's begin by taking a closer look at the potential at the additive task, excuse me. Potential performance of the group is based on the average of individual members. That's the additive task. Disjunctive task means the potential performance of the group is based on the best performing member. Conjunctive task, the potential performance of the group is based on the least capable member. And lastly, discretionary task discusses the potential performance that is up to the discretion of the group. The group interaction process, which is the third element, discusses how group members combine their efforts to achieve group output. I talked earlier about the payroll team of 14. This might be a good example for group interaction process. When they come together, they interact and they deliver on the output, which is the payroll for a large um, group of people. The group output is the next element, and this can be broken down into three possible outcomes. Performance, which is task completion, effective outcome, which is the group members' reactions toward the task, and learning outcome, which is related to future task performance. The final element of the theoretical framework of group performance is the group context, and this addresses the physical and social environment of the group. Context also has an impact on the other four elements. Context influences the members, it can determine the task, it can also influence the processes, and finally, it can influence the group's output. Lastly, I'll take a look at co-action and audience effects as they relate to group performance and provide an example. A co-action effect is when individuals are working on a task in the presence of others who are also working on the same task, and because of that presence, performance is improved. A good example of the co-action effect is, personal, personal example would be being in the gym and participating in a group exercise activity. The mere presence of others participating in the same activity influences individual performance and ultimately creates the potential for a higher level of workout performance. Audience effect is a type of social facilitation where the performance of an individual is influenced by the presence of an audience. An example of this, again, another personal, ex personal example would be, for me, I have a son who plays soccer. And I know he wants to play well, but when I'm not there, I get there, he hasn't scored, he's not having such a good game. The moment I'm in the audience, it can it's obvious that his performance changes. This has been told to me by many spectators repeatedly. If I leave work late and I get there, the, after the game, they will tell me the moment you showed up, he changed. So that would be a, an example of audience effect. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me on this video, explaining co-action and audience effects and the description of a multi-level system, and also the theoretical framework of group performance. Thank you so much.